Riders on the storm Riders on the storm Into this house we're born Into this world we're thrown So how are we going to make a sound with these park benches on our string? Well, we're going to need our pizzicato. We're doing separate bow work on uh, other videos and you've been practicing your bowing separate from the left hand and I'd like to keep it that way for a while until we get a couple of or maybe up to the D scale using pizzicato and this is going to help us to focus on the left hand. So, we're gonna... so we've got our base camp next to the ridge, we've got our ski pole straight up to the sky, we've got the first finger wrapped around making kind of a square shape with that nail making the bunny heel, the top or the second bone of our finger making a park bench. And then uh, this area here, there's a gap right here. I usually call that the mouse hole. Uh, this is our entrance to the Black Diamond Ski Run here. No longer bunny hills, now we're really going and we're gonna go down the ski slope. When we bring our park benches down, let's say on the D string for viola, which is the second string in, I'm gonna set the fingertip on that first tape. And then the second finger, I'm going to be putting on the next tape and the third finger on the next tape. So what we have then is this shape, one, two, and three. Just like when we had the pencil, we've turned the hand so that we've got the fingers kind of parallel to this fingerboard and I could put my fourth finger down if I wanted to. And we're keeping the left wrist nice and straight so we've got good ski form. So these park benches should be strong enough to keep our bunny heels in a nice angular shape so that I could put a little weight on top of the park bench and it wouldn't cave in. And so that's the basic left hand posture. Now how much weight you put on the string is gonna be determined uh, kind of when we try out our pizzicato. So remember our pizzicato where we made our L for laser? Pew, pew. And then we are going to set our instrument up, raindrops posture, make our laser, bring our thumb over to the corner of the fingerboard, and then the index finger is going to pluck from left to right, remember, where we sort of have a downward motion sliding off the string. At this point, I'm gonna get my ski resort ready. So, base joint back at the ridge. My ski pole is pointing up towards the sky on that first tape. I'm going to drop my first finger down on the D string, and then, take my pizzicato hand, and I'm going to try to pluck on the D string while I have that first finger set on the D string. And I'm listening to see if I get a sound like a note. Uh, I'm gonna show you what it sounds like when I don't get one. I don't press um, hard enough or set enough weight down. So that's maybe the sound that you'll get the first time. But as you just add a little bit more weight, I don't really want you to squeeze with the thumb, but add more weight with the tip of our finger, which is basically set on the thumb side of the nail. So you want enough weight so that it makes a sound. So here's my laser and pizzicato. So I'm trying to get enough weight so it doesn't thud. All the while keeping my left hand nice and straight for my ski slope. And so then I'm not doing one of these things with my poor skiing posture. So I know it's tempting to do this because you might be afraid that you'll drop your instrument, but I promise you, if you go out of your comfort zone and get this nice straight line for our ski slope, our thumb pointing up to the sky, that you'll be able to play a lot more uh, fluidly and you'll be a lot happier. 
Do the same thing with your second finger where we put that second finger on that second tape, making our nice squarish park bench. And see if we can start with a thudding sound and add more weight until we get a sound. And then you can do the same thing with the third finger. Take off the weight, kind of a thudding sound and then more weight and only enough to make a sound because you don't want to use too much pressure. So that is our ski park and it was kind of fun coming up to White Pass today to have some fun with you and get into a position where we're going to be great skiers, right? We don't want to look like me skiing with our self out of balance and, and having our hand look like this. So happy skiing.